Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining me today. I'm Jenna Stauffer. Later on in today's show, we'll pick up our wellness and fitness talk. I'll also be talking about the Old Island Restoration Foundation later in the show. But first, since I talked about Ernest Hemingway on yesterday's show, I think it's only right to talk about fishing today. Now, deep sea fishing was definitely one of Hemingway's favorite outdoor passions. Right now, it's the perfect time to be out on the water. The temperatures are finally starting to go down just a little bit. The crowds are gone, the pressure on the water's decreased, and the fish, they know it too. We're going to get a better fishing report right now from one of our captains here in the Keys. Captain Rob, thank you for being with me this it morning. It is my pleasure. <laughs> well, it's wonderful having you here, and I'd like you to start by giving our viewers a little fishing report for September. Well, you know, it's odd that you should happen to mention Ernest Hemingway because of the fact that he's better known for coming down here and doing the, the marlin fishing. Mm -hmm. uh, back in the day when he was here, he didn't realize that we had swordfish here. Mm -hmm. uh, if you look at the reports and the catches that are coming in right now, we've got flat calm seas, the, the current is just set perfect up. Mm -hmm. uh, and there's a lot of swordfish being caught here off the lower keys and in the middle keys. Mm -hmm. uh, I know personally I've been out and we've had three that were over 100 pounds. Uh -huh. And I just wonder, you know, back in the day, you know, what Ernest would have done if he'd have known there was a sword fishery here. He would have been all over it, right? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> you know, being the big billfish guy that he was. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and coming up this weekend, you know, the, the South Atlantic Fisheries Council, uh, they've actually opened up for the first time in three years. This will be the second weekend. We have a three-day weekend coming up where you can go out and you can catch red snapper, uh, which, you know, the red snapper bite here in close to shore, you know, if you focus on some of the, the near shore wrecks and out into the depths of about 220, 240 foot of, uh, of water, mm -hmm. uh, you can get your red snapper. Keep in mind, uh, the limit is one per person, but there is no size limit. So, you know, if you're, if you're headed offshore, go ahead and stop on that wreck, drop down, pick up your, your red snapper, first one you catch, keep it, and then move along and go do something else. Mm -hmm. You know, because out there in the, the blue water right now, we're getting a lot of wahoo. Mm -hmm. uh, the tuna are going to start moving in. There's a cold front that's moving in. Unfortunately, it's not going to drop our temperatures here the, mm -hmm. to the level that we'd like to see, mm -hmm. but it's, you can tell the, the change of season is, is coming, mm -hmm. and we're going to see it first show up on the, the flats because in the, the permit and bonefish are going to start coming in up on the, on the flats when the water cools off. Mm -hmm. And the, the offshore waters, we're going to get in our blackfin tuna and our wahoo bite. Uh, and that'll continue all the way through October. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the, the bulk of the, the wahoo and tuna will be here come November. You know, and then we'll also get that late season run of uh, dolphin. Mm -hmm. you know, and if you recall, if you look at last year's Key West Fishing Tournament, the biggest dolphin of the, the Key West Fishing Tournament fishing year for 2012 was caught two days before Thanksgiving, oh, which is so almost unheard up. of. That's so you, right. you've got some really good fishing going. Yeah, it does sound like a great time to be out on the water. And now, you just brought up the Key West Fishing Tournament. You're the director of this tournament. I am. Tell our viewers about it. Well, the, the Key West Fishing Tournament's kind of unique because we've been in existence now for 47 years. Uh, it doesn't cost anything to enter the tournament because that's probably one of the biggest questions that I get. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, so all you have to do is go out Go fishing, uh, go catching, come back, keep in, keep in mind your line class, uh, whether or not you were doing it on fly, if you did it with plug. Uh, if you look at the website, which is keywestfishingtournament.com, it's got all the criteria, mm -hmm. uh, but it's, we have boundaries, and it's primarily in the lower keys. Mm -hmm. So from the west end of the Seven Mile Bridge all the way out past the, the fort, fort being out at the Dry Tortugas, mm -hmm. uh, all of that water is included. We have flat species, we have reef species, we have Blue water, the, the one thing that, you know, I actually got to see a 400-pound thresher shark that, that was caught the other day. Wow. Uh, the one thing that I remind everybody is, is that for the 2012 fishing year for the Key West Fishing Tournament, mm -hmm. we are no kill on sharks. It's release only. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and if you look on the, the website and you look at some of the current standings, you'll see uh, we have a lot of release species only that, that we actually award prizes for. Mm -hmm. uh, and the biggest question I get asked there is, they're like, wow, how did that guy go out and one day catch and release 30 permit? Mm -hmm. uh, it's, a, it's a cumulative uh, mm -hmm. because of the fact that the tournament is an eight-month-long tournament that starts in, uh, we're going to be starting in 2013 in April, mm -hmm. uh, but it runs all the way through till November 30th. Mm -hmm. So anytime that you're fishing out here in the Lower Keys, be it with a charter captain or just on your, you know, by yourself, uh, you can even be fishing off a bridge and catch mangrove snapper, and we'll count those. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you're releasing these species, you know, that goes all the way through to the end of the year. So if you come down 10 times, you catch five fish and release them per trip, 
Mm -hmm. Well, at the end of the year, you've got 50. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, you know, keep that in mind. You know, if you've got something that, that is notable, uh, go ahead and take it into a way station because we've got way stations all the way from Dolphin Marina uh, down here to Key West. You know, mm -hmm. even some of the, the charter boat captains have certified scales right there on the boat. Uh, so we can even certify those catches there. Okay. The entries are easy. It's a, it's a form. All the charter boats have them. Mm -hmm. uh, almost every marina and tackle shop in the Lower Keys has the, the books. Mm -hmm. You fill it out. You drop it in the box. We pick it up. Easy as that. And you might have to come back in January for the award ceremony. Okay, wonderful. And again, that's going on right now. For more information, you can email the address you see on the bottom of the screen. You can also give that number a phone call. Rob, thank you for being with me and sharing all this information. My pleasure. Get out there and go catch him. That's right. Go fishing. We'll take you. <laughs> that, please. <laughs> I'll be right back after these messages. Please stay with me.